Thousands of federal workers still going without pay as the government shutdown enters another week. Yeah, President Trump offering what he calls a compromise and offer Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi calls a non-starter. New at 4, ABC Wanazak reports on the latest from the shutdown. When Congress returns to work tomorrow, the two chambers will have different visions for how to end the shutdown, frustrating the 800,000 federal workers who anticipate missing yet another paycheck at the end of the week. They need to come together and figure out the right thing to do for America and not just pick their side. In the Senate, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who has refused to bring forward any legislation that President Trump doesn't support, will bring to a vote the president's latest proposal, which doesn't budge on his wall funding. The plan includes $5.7 billion for a strategic deployment of physical barriers or a wall. But new 2020 presidential candidate Kamala Harris says the government needs to reopen first. He is now holding the American people hostage over a vanity project that he calls a wall. And in the House, Democrats are considering a counter proposal. A billion dollars for border security, half for infrastructure, nothing for a wall, and measures to provide financial relief to the 800,000 federal workers who are not getting paid. It's getting harder, <laughs> uh, but we're holding on. We're coming to work and doing our job, and we're going to continue to do our job. Federal agencies are now concerned about how long this shutdown can last. The TSA warning that they are now in uncharted territory with one out of every 10 employees calling out. Some telling ABC News that they simply cannot afford to pay for gas at a job that isn't currently paying them. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington.